What's going on guys, Fiddle Clouser here, and as you know, the new operators for Rainbow Six Siege came out today, Buck and Frost. So I showed you off the map already, and the camos, now I'm going to show you the two operators in depth of me and my buddy, Major Tom, shout out to Major Tom. He helped me out in a private match on Yacht to kind of show off the new skills and abilities that Buck and Frost have to offer. So let's get into it. The first operator from Operation Black Ice I'm going to show you is Frost. Now Frost is the defender out of the two, obviously because one's an attacker and one's a defender. She is my least favorite of the two. Um, her specialist is my favorite though, but her playstyle and the way she handles is my least favorite. I'm more of a assault rifle type and she only has a submachine gun. So the first one is Frost and this is a, a whole body shot of her right here. Thank you to Major Tom. The next thing we wanted to test out with Frost is how fast is she, you know? How fast can she keep up with the fastest defender, which is Bandit? So we put that to the test, and as, as you can see right here, Bandit totally just blows Frost out of the water. Uh, she can barely keep up with him, and he just catches the lead, and then he finish, goes to the finish line, which was the guardrail right here in the staircase. Her, her primary weapon, the 9mm C1, has some pretty good penetration. It is very accurate. The damage is kind of low, but it is very accurate. It takes a few bursts on a barricaded window to break it. And uh, when you shoot at a barricaded wall, or not, sorry, not a barricaded wall, but when you shoot at a wall by itself that you can penetrate through, it's very accurate when you're just spraying in one spot. You can make a hole bigger by just spraying in one spot. And you see that right here, as I spray the whole wall, I just show you like kind of the pattern of the, how the bullet spray goes. But if you kind of concentrate the bullets in one spot like I do at the at the, the right side of it, uh, right here, I, but I do it right now. As you see, when I concentrate all the bullets in one spot, it just starts opening the wall really quickly. And uh, this this weapon has fairly fairly good amount of bullets, so you can open up a wall and get a nice kill hole. Her Super 90 shotgun though, or I like to call the wall eater, just completely decimates a wall. Like this thing here is awesome to use on <laughs> walls, anything you want to get through, you shoot with this thing and it is going down. So the Super 90 shotgun is the way to go for that. Frost specialist ability is called the welcome mat, also known as the bear trap. Now this thing here can either kill you right away or down you. It's I'm not sure how it works with you know which one you get but in this video I died but when I play online sometimes I just get caught in it and go down uh, this is how it looks like when you step in it uh, through my eyes through first person like that it just clamps you and you're dead but if if it doesn't then you'll just go down and you'll see it on your leg right and here's the kill cam of it right here and here's how it looks like in first person view when you put the trap down and as well as how it looks like from third person when someone gets caught in it or dies from it right here so as you can see my buddy is going to walk right into it and it instantly kills them or it usually will down him online so it's a hit or miss with it so since it's mechanical that means iq or thatcher's e emp grenades will not be able to destroy it or detect it so you're gonna to have to shoot at it so how many bullets does it take to kill well it takes three bullets from the pistol in the game to destroy it it takes two bullets from the cameras to destroy it and finally, it takes four bullets from the C8SFW to destroy the welcome mat. Now we can assume that this is the same for all assault rifles. Four bullets for all assault rifles, one bullet with a shotgun or two bullets with a shotgun to destroy the welcome mat. It's easily destroyable. Now one shot headshots aside, how powerful are the weapons? Well, it takes two bullets from the 9mm C1 to kill someone in the chest, not the head. In the chest, we tested it with two bullets and it killed someone. Probably the leg and arm will be different results, but the chest, it's two bullets. And for the shotgun, it's obviously a one shot in the chest and you're dead with the Super 90. This thing, like I said, the wall destroyer, it's going to destroy anything. The second operator from Operation Black Ice we are going to look at right now is the attacker, which is Buck. Here's a full view of him around his body, his sexy pants, his knee pads, his nice little pistol holster, his giant backpack. I don't know how he runs with that thing, man. That thing looks heavy. But yeah, this is Buck, my personal favorite out of the two, and uh, has he has the best weapons, I believe. I, I love his weapons. Saw rifles for the win. So even with the backpack on, Buck is pretty fast. I put him to a test against the fastest attacker, which is Ash, and he can actually hold his own against running, you know, with speed-wise. He keeps the lead until last second, as you can see here. He keeps the lead, then last second you see Ash coming by and just passing me right before I make it to the end of the yacht. 
So as you can see, he's running, running his heart out, big backpack on his back, not gonna stop anything. And then here comes Ash with her fucking skinny jeans and her ponytail flailing in the flailing in the sky right here, passes right by me and gets there like a split second faster than me. So Ash is faster, but Buck can keep his own. So how was the penetration on his guns? Well, his C8 SFW takes a few bursts on a window, barricaded window to fully destroy it. It's not the best. And his underbarrel shotgun attachment takes four shots for me. I'm guessing four, I'm guessing three to four, it's gonna destroy a barricaded window. I kind of shot it and missed. I kind of shot it everywhere here, but if you do each corner, you're probably all four. His CAR, whatever, cameras, fucking destroys a wall. You shoot this thing up. It's going to destroy the whole wall, put holes in it, kill holes really quickly so you don't have to worry about you know getting back into the action. So the cameras is the way to go. And the shotgun option on a wall though completely puts a hole in it so you can you know make a kill hole real quick, kind of like the Super 90 shotgun. Now Buck's specialist ability is called the Skeleton Key which is the underbarrel shotgun. Uh, how's the damage on it? Well from a fair distance it takes around 3 shots to kill an enemy. but close range I'm gonna guess two to one for sure because I shot far away and then I, I went closer shot again and then went closer a little bit more shot the third time and it killed him so three shots from a far range it'll kill the guy it takes three shots with the C8 SFW in the chest to kill an enemy like I said excluding headshots in the chest three shots to kill an enemy with a C8 SFW and lastly for the cameras the single fire FAL takes two shots in the chest to kill an enemy. This gun is my favorite gun to use out of the DLC and it is deadly. You can spray it as fast as you can shoot and um, it's really accurate too. So those are all the weapons guys. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you for watching my review on Buck and Frost. Let me know in the comment section below which operator you prefer and which one your favorite if you've been playing the DLC recently or if you have it already season pass holders. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the two operators. For the people who are wondering why they don't have the operators, you guys have to wait a week if you don't have the season pass. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Fatal Crawlers are out.